So I'm starting off with my concealer. This is the It's You HD Concealer from C Star Cosmetics. And I like to apply this on my eyelids to use this as a base because it's not super drying. Right now I feel like I don't like super drying <laughs> concealers. And especially for my eyelids because they're, I have a very dry skin there. So this is just perfect for my eyelids as well. And then I will set it a little bit with my Physicians Formula powder this is from the contour and highlight palette i think this is how it's called a matte contour and highlight palette with my hug for the j5523 brush and then i'm taking the sun kiss palette from sister cosmetics and using this really nice medium toned warm brown shade with my zoeva 228 brush i'm applying this in the crease so this will be my transition shade really like to use the matte sister eyeshadows um, for transition because they blend really nice first of all and they're not like super super pigmented you actually need to build up the color in you know in order to get that intensity that you want if you want it a bit more sheer you apply just a little bit if you want it a bit more intense you can build up the color and this is what makes it really nice in my opinion I don't like right now I feel like I don't like super super intense pigmented eyeshadows because I can do you know some little mistakes and then I cannot really blend that eyeshadow and it's a nightmare so these are perfect especially as a transition shade and then I will blend everything as with my physicians formula powder and again my hack for the j5523 brush and now I will use my VDL shadow pot eyes cluster in get high this is one of my favorite cream shadows to use on my eyelid and I like to use this basically to intensify any kind of pigments or um, shimmery eyeshadows that I will use after uh, because it has a bit of a sticky consistency, it's super shiny, super gorgeous and next I will use my Inglot pigment, this is in 122 again a gorgeous, has a bit of green, has a bit of yellow, gold, it's um, just a mixture of things it has a bit of like brown I feel like, so it's really 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 pretty it has a bit of gold like goldish green as well so i like that and now to intensify the outer v and also the crease of course i will take a darker shade from the sister sunkissed palette and again blending it very well you know getting that intensity for this pigment i feel like you know you need definitely a darker crease and a darker outer v now i'm curling my lashes using my really nice eyelash curler that I got in Tokyo and my Mallorca Mallorca mascara and then I will put on my uh, Lena lashes these are from the Large Girl collection they don't have a name actually but they're from that collection and I absolutely love them and now for my foundation I'm actually mixing to the Maybelline Fit Me and the Ordinary Coverage Foundation and I'm mixing these two because um, these are my more like a darker foundation shades that I have in my collection and I do have a fake tan so I wanted to you know have that nice color all over <laughs> my face and on my butt to match my body basically and plus I really like the finish of these two as well I feel like they mix together really well and as a concealer again it's you concealer from sister cosmetics this as I said is not super drying so I like to use this underneath my eyes as well because if I'm using a too like a very dry kind of concealer, it will show all my you know micro wrinkles and fine lines, and I don't want that. And then I will just set a little bit my T-zone with my Physicians Formula powder that I really really love. Now I'm using one of my favorite contour shades right now from the Makeup Forever palette that I received not so long ago actually. And I'm using again one of my favorite brush from Contour right now, again from Makeup Forever. This shade is actually really, really nice. You can see it's just the perfect contour shade. And then as a highlighter, this middle shade from the Lit and Glow palette from Sister Cosmetics has a really gorgeous goldy kind of sheen. And it's not super dark, it's not super light, it's just, you know, that perfection color. And then I will use again the mid-tone warm brown shade with a Coyuto brush 
and I will apply this on my bottom eyelid, blending it very well, and then the darker shade as well, because I want that definition, but I don't apply a lot of eyeshadow, I want just you know, a little bit of definition there, I don't want a really smoky look there. And then I'm using more of that highlight powder on my lips because I will not use a lip product today. I really like my lips, you know, the color of my lips right now, so I decided just to keep it this way. A little bit of mascara and my Inglot 66 gel liner in my waterline and ivory color. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. Let me know if you like this kind of colors, especially for autumn. And I will see you in my next one. Bye!